Okay, everybody, I believe she's ready to fire off. I'm going to give it a little bit of go-go juice, and then we're going to hit the switch, and she should fire right up, being as though the system doesn't have to prime itself. I'm not going to go through a bunch of uh, settings on it. I'm just going to start it, get it running, do a little bit of adjusting on the distributor just by ear, and that's as much as I'm going to show you. This is the first time this engine has been run since May 2019. Here we go. in there to uh, get the bowl full yet. It's got some fuel up to the fuel filter but not quite enough to get her to fire off and keep running. Give her one more shot here. We know the timing is on though. Set the choke to open, and we'll see. Maybe she's got too much now. I highly doubt that, but maybe.
where my rebuild went. Sounds great. Happy to see it's running good.
I want to touch on one more thing. You can see that my vacuum advance is right tight against the intake manifold. I was retarding the ignition timing between trying to start the engine, and the engine was too advanced to start and idle. Once I pushed the accelerator in the truck, I was able to get the truck running, but it wasn't running very good, and then it stalled as I let off the accelerator. Once I retarded the timing as far as I could, stopping with the vacuum advance module hitting the intake manifold, then I was able to get it to idle good. When I hooked the timing light up, I found that I needed to retard the timing even more to get to the 8 degree advance the book calls for on my truck. So I am going to have to remove the distributor cap, lift the distributor out, and rotate the rotor one tooth clockwise, then put the distributor back in which will put the vacuum advance module into the center of its travel between the intake manifold and the valve cover. Good luck with your engines everybody. Keep them running strong and keep them running long.